be in love with each other forever. Every I do, we share. I love you so much. Thank you for just being you and making me the happiest girl in the world. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Love always and forever. Not a day goes by where I don't stop to think about how lucky I am to have you by my side. You remind me every day that life is short and that we need to make each moment together count. I promise to make you laugh every day, to never make you cry unless it's from laughter, to never take life too seriously, and to always stay young at heart. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here in the presence of God and of this company that Ashley and Stephen may be united in holy matrimony. We are here to celebrate and share in the glorious act that God is about to perform, the act by which he converts their love for one another into the holy and sacred estate of marriage. This marriage is an honorable and sacred one, established by God for the welfare and happiness of mankind and approved by the Apostle Paul as honorable among all men. It is designed to unite two sympathies and hopes into one and it rests upon the mutual confidence and devotion of husband and wife. May it be in extreme thoughtfulness and reverence and in dependence <laughs> upon divine guidance that you enter now into this holy relationship. At this time, the bride and the groom like to express what is in their hearts to one another. Stephen? <laughs> Ashley, not a day goes by where I don't stop to think about how lucky I am to have you by my side. <clears throat> you remind me every day that life is short and that we need to make each moment together count. I promise to make you laugh every day and to never make you cry unless it's from laughter. To never take life too seriously and to always stay young at heart. I promise to be your biggest fan and your constant supporter. You're the one who I want to wake up next to every morning. <coughs> <laughs> to live every day and every new adventure with. You're my best friend and I will never stop loving you. Steven, I never thought when I met you on April 1st 
it would have turned out to be the best April Fool's prank of my life. You've shown me that when opposites come together, it can be a perfect match. Your strengths are my weaknesses, your courage inspires me, and most of all, your love and support has made me a better person. You know how indecisive I am on everything, but for the first time in my whole life, I know that you're the right decision. I promise to keep our marriage full of surprises, laughter, and unconditional love. I promise to try and convince myself that your stubbornness is just passion because, you're, because when you challenge me, I know it's with your best intentions. I vow to be honest, caring, and truthful, to love you as you are, not as I want you to be, and to grow old by your side as your love and best friend. I will do my best to do everything I can to be patient, to support you, and help make us be the best us that we can be. I will do all of those things for one simple reason, because I love you, babe. I, Stephen. I, Stephen. Take you, Ashley. Take you, Ashley. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or poor. For richer or poor. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. From this day forward. From this day forward. I, Ashley. I, Ashley. Take you, Stephen. Take you, Stephen. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. For better or worse. For better or worse. For richer or poorer. For richer or poorer. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. From this day forward. From this day forward. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. after me with this ring with this ring I thee wed I thee wed let these rings be given and received as a token of your affection sincerity and fidelity to one another it's so much as Ashley and Stephen have consented together in wedlock and have witnessed the same before this company and pledged their vows to one another by the authority vested in me by the state of Louisiana, I now pronounce that you are now husband and wife. You may now kiss your bride. And ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Norman. <laughs> Congratulations.
And I'm told